So just out uh, sitting in my garden, actually showing off my garden. <laughs> it's really taken off. Part of it's because of the rain, even though it's under a balcony. Uh, there's a lot of rain that's gotten in this year. So everything is growing. I can say that I pretty much started this garden. Just because I do every year, it's a calming experience. But uh, this year, it is really something. Just for one example, since this isn't about my garden, I have right now growing more tomatoes than I have ever, 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 ever had in a container garden. But because that's not the subject, uh, really, what I want to talk about today is uh, foraging. Foraging can be a rewarding experience. It really can if you know what you're doing few cautions and uh, you can have yourself all kinds of food. About a week ago I was actually out taking one of my morning walks. I knew that these bushes were here, blackberry and raspberry bushes. I have gone through the brambles several times on those walks. All of a sudden I noticed that they had berries on them. I picked a couple, took them home, and uh, tasted to see what they'd taste like. Um, I, uh, what I thought were blackberries are actually black raspberries. Of course I researched that because uh, you don't want to eat anything without actually doing your research. Who wants instant death? Right now I'm kind of concentrating on getting raspberries, and they are so good. It's about a week since I've done this, so I expect more. The, hills actually way in back where I take my walk are just full of these things. I'm expecting to freeze some actually for the winter and blackberries too actually probably more abundant blackberries than there are uh, black raspberries. This land used to be farmland. I don't know if these are kind of leftover feral plants from when it was farmland or whether they just happen naturally. So everybody, you ready to go down a rabbit hole? Let's go. Follow that rabbit to the berries. If you have a trusty dog, definitely take him along for protection. My dog, he protects me, alerts me to anything that might be coming. Just by barking, he's not big enough to do anything. basically the stem of raspberries is round and even with the rain you can see there's kind of a white powder actually on them and look at this guy so oh boy I am gonna be picking these I put two ziploc bags into my pocket to carry out with me didn't think I needed any more than this it's kind of early and they're not a lot of berries yet Berries in the making. Can't wait till these are done. So look under here at these beautiful berries. Wow, I can pick some berries today. So when picking these, a raspberry comes off very easily if it's ripe. And it also has a hole in the center where a blackberry doesn't. The vines themselves, even despite the rain, they kind of have a powdery, a powdery white stem, and it's also round. Blackberries tend to be a little more square. So just to show you the difference, these are blackberries and raspberries growing together. These are the leaves of the raspberry plant and the stem, and these are the leaves of the blackberry plant and the stem. So all along this little road there are berries, berries, berries. These are blackberries and I'm kind of waiting for these to get ripe so I can have blackberries also. Don't know what these are. I won't touch them. You got to be careful picking berries. You have to be very careful and know exactly what you're getting. So just to show you the difference, I came across a ripe blackberry. Let me pick that and turn it over for you so you can see this. Okay, so this is what the end of a blackberry looks like. Actually, it doesn't have that hole that you see with the raspberries. A little bit different. 
and also the little seedlets or whatever you call them seem to be bigger and it seems to be a more elongated fruit. I wish some of these were ripe, but everything is pretty much red right now as far as the blackberries are concerned. Here is a blackberry stem, a little bit more square than what you saw with the raspberry stem. Seems to be a much more vicious plant. These have rougher edges, actually, than you would see with a raspberry. So my little haul for the day. A lot of raspberries. A few blackberries, but it looks like a lot more to come. I'm going to go ahead and do a vinegar wash where I'm going to put these in vinegar and water. Soak them for about 10 minutes and then wash them off. I'll put the blackberries in too. I didn't find that many, so I'll just put them in here in their witches witch. It's easy as Filling these up with water and adding a bit of vinegar and just letting them soak for 10 minutes. Rinse in clear water after the 10 minute period and you have a beautiful bowl of berries. And from the amount you see in here, I've saved myself $5, which means I made $5, which is a flat of raspberries cost at the store, I think anywhere from 3 to 5 So I could probably go without saying this, but I will say it. Anytime you are foraging, make sure that you are permitted on the land in my case basically this is abandoned part of a property that i live on yeah i live in an apartment it's part of that land so it's public domain make sure you're not in an area basically where things are sprayed the road that i go on is actually an access road for utility and it's barely ever used, and I know that nobody uses any spray back there. Raspberries and blackberries do have a distinctive look. If you're going for any other kind of food, just make sure that you know what you're looking at, and you darn well know that it is edible. Also, when going to pick, take into account exactly uh, where you're going. If you're going into the woods, dress accordingly. Long pants, boots, long shirt. In my case, pretty much everything is up front, so I have a short sleeve shirt. But long pants because I am walking into the grass a little bit. But if I were going further into the woods, I definitely would dress for protection. You know, the stuff they teach you in Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Anyway, have a great day. Go foraging. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. Hope you benefited from this. Thank you for watching and have a good day.